everyone, how's it going? Uh, so it's the middle of November, I'm kind of just getting the Z ready for uh, storage, finishing up a few little things under the hood here, and I happen to have the upper plenum off, and I thought with that off I'd show you guys how to do the throttle body coolant bypass mod. Um, you can do this with the, pedal, uh, the, with the plenum still on, I just happen to have it off, it makes it a little easier to show you guys. But basically what we have is we have a, a line coming off the back of the lower intake manifold here, and we have a line coming off the turbo. Um, I just have bolts in them so they don't leak after I took the plenum off. But the whole point of this mod is to basically connect these together because both ends of these would originally be going to the throttle body. And with these connected, it kind of just bypasses that. If you live in a hot climate or if you don't drive your car in the winter, it's just not really needed to have them run through the throttle body. Plus it actually makes it a lot easier to take the plenum off, there's just a few less things to disconnect. Um, also, you can also bypass the other coolant hose that's coming off the passenger side of the intake. I just have a hose running around to the other um, turbo coolant hose here. Uh, if you have an NA, I'm sure it's a little bit different. I can't really recall what the whole setup looks like. But again, it's going to be very similar. You just want to connect the two lines that are going to the throttle body. Um, so you can, if you want, you can use this. It's just a little 3 8 barb. And you can connect the two stock lines together if they reach. But what I'm going to be doing is actually taking this, both of these lines off, and I'm going to connect a new, a new line from that side to this side. So I'm going to put the camera down, and I'll be back when that's all finished up. All right, so I got the hose on. You can see it right here. So it's connected behind the lower intake manifold, comes over, and into the left side turbo coolant line. Looks a little funny kind of up here, just because it's a brand new hose, it kind of has some spring into it. But once the plenum's on, it kind of sticks down here. I'll show you guys a little clip at the end of this video. But yeah, that's the coolant bypass mod on a Z31. Uh, pretty much the same throughout all years. Um, and as you can see, I replaced all of these lines. So you replace four lines with two much longer ones. It's a lot less clamps and a lot less um, likely of a leak to happen. Um, I recommend this uh, this mod to anybody who kind of wants to clean up their engine bay and simplify things But uh, yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time